All right, how is everybody doing? My name is AK Rex, and uh, today we're gonna be doing a tutorial video right here. So this is uh, basically going to be me explaining how I painted my Leptoceratops and uh, which colors I used, which techniques are used. It's nothing complicated, it's very simple. And unfortunately, I do not have the right equipment yet to give you the proper uh, video tutorial for it. And uh, I uh, would love to do that eventually when we do some more uh, video tutorials. But uh, this one here is very simple. It all, all it needs is just to give you some pictures and some context of what colors in what layers you apply them. And uh, well, without further ado, let's get into this. Now this is the first step right here. You use the primer and with the primer, you just need to make sure that you spray it everywhere so that none of your uh, areas get left behind. And uh, once you've done that, you leave it to dry and uh, the colors I suggest to use for my specific color scheme that I have used is either Skeleton Bone by Army Painter or Citadel Zandri Dust. Or you can use something else which is an equivalent to give it a nice light uh, base coat. Now, step two. Mm. In step two, we have uh, the paintbrush. So the paintbrush can be anything like, like one of them. They can be by Citadel, they can be by any manufacturer, really, whatever you find in your local stores. And uh, you just uh, find the right thickness and you apply the Steel Legion Drab by Citadel in a way that is shown in the picture uniformly, no dry brushing, but don't put too much paint on the brush. Always leave a little bit of, um, you know, balance there. You don't want to cloak it up either. Just make sure if, if it's not enough, you can do another layer and, eh, pardon me, another layer and <laughs> repeat the process from the beginning until you're happy with the, the color being quite uniform. Uh, and even if it's not quite uniform in some areas, you know, if you have some uh, of this uh, base coat sticking out that's not a problem because you're going to be doing other layers of colors anyway and uh, It will all be good now. Let's get to the next step step three. We got uh, what is it? We've got paintbrush with Citadel ashen gray same thing very very straightforward nothing No rocket science here, so you can use equivalent as well. You can uh, find whatever other colors that just represent this kind of dark or slightly above average dark uh, gray color and uh, that should do the job now next one we use the citadel again Morn Fang brown and that's just to use to act, add an extra detail once again uh, it's not a dry brush uh, don't get that confused we're not doing highlights here we are just applying the layers so when you apply the layer you need to make sure that uh, of course you don't put too much paint so it's not too liquidy so it doesn't just go around in the areas where you don't want it to go so uh, also forgot to say that before you paint anything and before you spray, make sure you shake your paints very well. For example, you, you pick it up and you give it a very nice strong shake. Sometimes you can do a bit of that as well or just really do whatever with it and make sure that it's very nice and even. And when you, if it's a uh, Vallejo, when you have to sp splash it a little bit on a palette, then make sure that whatever has come out, you uh, mix it if you see that it's not really evenly um, balanced then maybe you need to shake it even more and that should do the job and uh, just keep doing it until you get it right now uh, with this step you basically apply another layer that's all there is to it as i said and now we, let's do step five once again another layer on top of the previous layer and uh, this layer what it does is it creates this nice kind of contrast between the light and dark and uh, I use the Citadel Screaming Skull. I use that quite a lot as well for highlights in the underbelly, under like the chin areas, um, you know, the throat areas and all of these things. Uh, the rear sides of the limbs, as you can see in the picture. And uh, also you can um, uh, use this quite well with the highlights. So for highlights, you need to do dry brush, which means you put a little bit of paint and uh, make sure there's not too much. And uh, so that when you touch the surface very gently, it just barely sort of strokes the surface, but doesn't go all the way deep. So it doesn't cover all of the nitty gritty areas, but only the top layers. And uh, that's how you do the dry brush. I personally advise you guys to, uh, those who are new to this, uh, practice it a little bit on something else, just to make sure you get the technique right. 
maybe uh, uh, one day when I again have a better equipment and setup to film it, I will show you how to dry brush to those who are new. I will show you how to do the washing properly, which we will get into in the next step uh, shortly. And uh, we can take care of that even better. This is a very basic idea of what you do. And uh, those who have already been somewhat familiar with how the painting generally works, you will know all of that stuff. But if you haven't, I, I promise you, I will try to come up with a good way to demonstrate somehow to make sure that you can see what's going on. Uh, now, with this step, literally, yes, one more layer and uh, maybe highlights in the underbelly and the rear parts of the limbs in the throat, etc. on the chin, and then you move on to the next step. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention that in a previous step uh, with the ashen gray, you also paint the beak. So that's an important part as well. Now we got step six. In step six, we do the washing, as I said. And uh, this is the one which is one of the newest uh, range uh, uh, added to the Citadel Games Workshop's colors. They are called the contrast, which are very nice because it means that any base color that you use, let's say you use a white or a bone, light bone or light gray or whatever, really. So let's see, let's say you use any of them and uh, you basically get um, to change the hue and uh, the general sort of filter of it. So that's what they pretty much use that for. It's to add a bit of contrast, but also at the same time, it slightly changes the hue of the color. And uh, that's very useful because it allows you to really do a lot of more things with it. And uh, um, sorry about the beeping in the background. I got somebody else in the house who's probably just got the alarm set off, but never mind that. <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, you use that one. It's a skeleton horde, very nice uh, contrast paint. And just make sure that when you put a bit of a brush, don't put too much, put a little, put just enough and then just start applying it to the model, see if it spreads around. If it's not, you can help it with a brush. Then you can add a bit more layer just so it gets into between, you know, how you see these scales get separated by the dark areas. That's when the contrast paint kind of concentrates there and it basically gives the nice sort of separation and it highlights the detail. So that's what you want to do. Uh, but you don't want to overdo it because then it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a mess and it's not going to give you the right effect. So practice with that a little bit. Don't do too much because these paints, unfortunately, they are not cheap. So make sure you get some practice on something else first, just a little bit. And uh, then when you're confident, you can uh, do that. And uh, because the paint, changing the paints and stripping them, especially when it's the washes, you kind of, it's, it's a bit, it's tricky. It's, it's a nasty process, okay? I've tried that, it never works properly. I hate it personally, so I prefer to try and get things right, right off the bat. Now, the next step, this is uh, step seven you got with the eyes. Now the eyes you can paint with a Citadel, uh, Aerial Yellow or with the Vallejo Library Green. I combined them personally. I did the uh, base layer of uh, Library Green and then Aerial Yellow on the top just because I felt like I wanted to give a bit more depth to it and that seems to have worked out. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, you probably can't, but in my model, when you really look close, literally up front, you will be able to see it. Now, uh, the clothes and the jugal you paint with the Citadel Dawnstone, so it's a lighter gray color, and uh, then you wash it with Vallejo Black. So uh, obviously you make sure that when you apply new layers that the previous layers are 100% dry. Don't ever apply the new layer when the previous layer is still wet. Make sure you don't make that mistake or else it messes up everything. So be, be very careful with that. Now uh, with the brown and gray areas of the model, what you do is you do the dark brown Vallejo wash. And with the beak, you do the black wash on uh, uh, the whole thing, basically. So that basically gives you what we have right here. Now we got the final step and that's literally when the model is finished. So you've done all the painting now, everything is finished here. Now what you do is you spray it with a Citadel uh, Munitorium uh, varnish or an equivalent, whether you like satin or uh, matte varnish. I prefer satin or matte depending. This one is kind of in between, so that's quite nice. It gives fair amount of reflection, but it's not shiny. And um, then I use uh, the gloss varnish. You can use whatever gloss varnish, any brand. They all work pretty much the same way. If you have any specific things that you like, for the varnish, make sure you use that and uh, apply that to the eyes. And of course, remember, every layer has to dry before you apply the next one. And with that said, that's all done. I could go on for ages, 
telling you how much I love to paint my models and all other models and paint models and kits for my customers. But I want you to have time to watch the rest of my videos and uh, in this case I uh, will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you're new make sure you hit the um, subscribe and notification button and smash the melee button. Until then I've been AKRX and we will see you guys later in the next segment. Ciao!